Welcome back to News Geelong. The Geelong Scarecrow Patch Gallery, which is located on the outskirts of Geelong at Ceres in the scenic Barrable Hills, is currently showing further examples of Geelong craft and arts, as Merrill Friend reports. We're in Ceres overlooking the gorgeous hills of Geelong and we're at the Scarecrow Patch Gallery. It's Elaine Mitchell's a little haven here and some of the pieces that are on display at the moment have been part of the Johnston collection in Melbourne. So there's incredible pieces from handcrafts, ceramics, glass work, amazing things here. You must come along and it's open until the end of March. Thanks Meryl. Well this is the Geelong Textile and Fibre Artists who have been going for quite a few years. It's called Uniquely Geelong because it is exactly that, that uh, the work here is really exclusively Geelong artists and all hand done quality work. And it's part, of some of this sort of collection has also been part of the Johnston uh, exhibition in Melbourne. Yes, this year we were fortunate enough to be involved in the Christmas, well it was last year actually, Christmas last year, and representatives of this group were involved in their Christmas display. And Johnston Collection's a house called Fair Hall in Melbourne, which was the bequest of a man called Robert Johnson. And it is an amazing collection that he's left for the benefit of everyone. Beautiful antiques from all over the world. But once a year at Christmas, they approach different districts in Victoria, Geelong, Bendigo, Ballarat, Gippsland, Albury, um, and say to the, the district, what groups, what craft groups have you got that would be interested in being involved and putting in something in empathy with the, the, the Johnson collection and a Christmas theme, and that was part of what we were involved with this last year. From the Scarecrow Patch in series, Merrill Friend News Geelong. Our Lisa. Lisa Neville, member for Ballerine and also State Minister for Mental Health, Community Services and Senior Victorians, played an important role in the launch of an Auslan video relay interpreting service for the deaf and hearing impaired at Bowen Health yesterday, as Merrill Friend also reports. 16th of March, the Minister for Community Services, the Honourable Lisa Neville, was at the Geelong Hospital to launch the Auslan Video Relay Interpreting Service. Now in 2009 there were over 4,000 patients requiring interpreting for language, but also there were over 100 patients requiring interpretation for deafness or hearing impairment. And this service will mean that there is a far more rapid response for professionals and patients with that need. And you're here at the Geelong Hospital to launch the Auslan Video Relay Interpreting Service. Now, this is a big, uh, significant advancement for the deaf and hearing impaired. Look, this is a great new piece of technology that's going to really open up uh, opportunities to ensure people from the deaf community, hard of hearing and also the cold communities easier access to interpreting services. So this is going to be great for regional and rural communities and we did a, a trial of this last year and it significantly improved access to information and interpreters and reduced the waiting uh, times that people had often to get interpreters. So we're now rolling it out across 10 sites and the Geelong Hospital is the first of those. I'm 35 and I've been deaf all my life and I've used interpreter services to access hospitals through the National Booking Service but I think a service like this will be great for ho the hospital system and it'll be a great tool for accessing interpreter services to bridge the gap for those wanting to access medical services in hospitals. For example, my daughter who may be two at the time, might need to have a medical examination. So I can get the information from the doctors as to how best to medicate her. And I can get that information quite immediately with the use of the VRI service. And we're joined with Graham Kelly, who is the VicDef CEO. Now, Graham, the Auslan uh, uh, service is very, very special here with the new video relay interpreting that they've um, been able to provide. Tell us what that means for the deaf and hearing impaired. Look, it's a terrific step forward. It's really the next generation of technology for deaf and hard of hearing people in Victoria. First time in Victoria, in fact, first time in Australia of this size. And what it allows is people to have access to interpreters, particularly in regional areas where they struggle sometimes to get access, so that we can actually do the interpreting from Melbourne, from VicDef, using video technology to the people on site in the regional centres. So it doesn't mean the interpreters don't have to travel, so hence it's a lot cheaper and we get to use our interpreters a lot more. And the main 
uh, benefit of this, of course, is people get access to interpreters quicker. And we're joined by Paul Cohen, who is the acting CEO for Barwon Health. Paul, this uh, new technology for Auslan is just amazing for the uh, Geelong Hospital as well. Tell us a bit about it. Yeah, no, fantastic um, technology. We're very pleased that we've got this um, new service that we're able to offer people. So we're able to offer um, services interpreting um, for sign language fr from today. So we've got um, patients who come in who often are inconvenienced because they'll either have to coordinate with, a, with someone who can come and sign for them or we'll get someone to drive in from Melbourne, which is, can be very expensive. All of a sudden we're able to, we're able to bring people online and have that and have that the, the signing and interpretation remotely which is a fantastic service. Thank you very much Meryl. Yes, another first for Barwon Health in Victoria and Australia of its size. Geelong's own Jan Mitchell was the creator of the leading Geelong waterfront attraction, the Geelong Bollards, that stretched from the western beach all the way around to Limeburners Point. Colin Mockett reports from the National War Museum on a further tribute to the wonderful Jan Mitchell. Now Geelong's bollards are world renowned. They're on the internet, They're, they've been on just about every television program that shows Geelong, they always show the bollards. And the bollards were the creation of a Geelong artist, that's Jan Mitchell. Now Jan passed away in March 2008, but she left a team, as well as her, uh, as well as her heritage of those bollards, she left a team of workers who are still working on the bollards themselves. Every time they get damaged in any way, or graffitied, or vandalised, her team goes back into action. They're the people who helped work on them. They, uh, she has a sign writer, she has a carpenter that helped work, uh, work on the original bollards. And that team has created a bollard of Jan Mitchell. This is the lady who created the bollards and she's about to join the Bollard Bay Walk uh, on the waterfront of Geelong itself. This is Jan Mitchell's bollard. It will be placed in time on the waterfront looking at the place where her studio was, where she created the world famous Geelong bollards. This is Jan Mitchell, the bollard, prior to being moved to the waterfront. Colin Mockett for News Geelong. Thank you, Colin. You're with News Geelong, Wednesday edition, as we go to a break and return with more after this. <laughs> <laughs> 